morning, Andrew. Yeah, morning, Tom. We're back. We are back, and yeah. I'm sporting my new hat today. You are sporting your hat. On your birthday, I'd like to mention. Yeah, it's birthday today. Birthday 93. today. 93 today. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Actually, I'm 94. Are oh, you 94, are you? Yeah, that was last year, wasn't yeah. it? Candles. Years fly by though, don't they? Nearly years fly by, mate. That's the thing I hate about birthdays is the amount of wax that's wasted. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, move on. Let's get some music on. We've got a big show today, haven't we? So let's get a on. Big with show it. today, yeah. Who we got, Tom? We've got the whole team today. We've got Ollie in the back there. You're right, mate. Right, nice boss. shirt. Thank you, mate. Alexander the negative, positive as ever. Always. Yeah, and a very warm welcome to Caroline as well. Yeah, they're back from holiday. They had a great time. Alex on the negative, Capital as you can see. Yeah, you can see it on his face. He's, he's burnt his face, isn't he? Yeah. Anyway, let's get some music on and get to the Toby, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. After Saturday's success and Tuesday's tumble, Pompey are looking to bounce back this weekend and against an established and formulated Fleetwood side who have scored at least one goal in each game so far this season. Can Pompey prohibit the trawler men from triumphing or will it be another win at home? We're about to find out. This is 4 no written all over it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fauna Written All Over It. This afternoon, broadcasted to you back from the Toby Carvery Hilsey Portsmouth ahead of today's game, Portsmouth versus Fleetwood Town. Without dilly dallying, let's get over to Ollie for Team of the Week this week. Team of the Week this week, Tom, is Manchester City. Why? Well, you see, Alex, um, they beat Feyenoord in the week 4 0. And just before that, they gave Liverpool an absolute plebbing, 5-0. So they're letting no goals and scored nine. That is correct, yep. How many shots on target? Oh, about 172. How many corners? Near enough, a million. Any yellows? Uh, I reckon there was about 24 in the game. And who scored for Feyenoord? Uh, they didn't, but Vaughan and Bjorg had a cracking game. Um, <laughs> that was really good up to that, <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we have got a couple of shout outs to give, to give today. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run through a couple of them quickly. Shout out to LC1 from Ben Chu. Thank you very much. Um, shout out to Martin Lloyd, who watches every week. Thank you very much for that, Martin. Oh, we've got, we got the card machine going on over there. Um, Liam Healy, BCFC, who's a Bristol City fan. Um, he would like a shout out today. So, best of luck to Bristol City today. Hope you get a result this week. Weekend. Um, yes, Tom, your videos are as Pompey's win today. Thank you very much. Pompey updates, that's a great one. And um, Caroline. Uh, can I have a shout out, Tom Critchley? Tom Critchley, thank you very much for watching this show. If you'd like a shout out next week, then just contact us in the normal ways. And also, Team of the Week, we'd love to hear from you. Pop it down in the comments or let us know on all the social media platforms. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Fauna Written All Over It car. Um, I'm with on the negative of Caroline. We're going to go through a couple of bits that we did. Ollie, could you straighten the camera up ever so slightly for I me, mate? I can't see the Thank you ever so much. You're very kind. Um, so we've got a shout out for McKenna. <laughs> we got a shout out for Mackenzie Moore, who's got in touch with us, and then Billy Green Ten as well wants a shout out. So there we go. This is Anna Hester. She'd like a shout out this afternoon. She's a singer songwriter, um, massive Pompey, fan. massive Pompey fan as well. So um, you can check her out if you want to. Tom Skelton, the comedian, would like a shout out as well. So big shout out to Tom Skelton this afternoon. Right on to today's game then. Alex on the negative. You clearly look very excited about today's game, I'm mate. Really um, excited. I don't think I've ever been as excited as. Uh, for a game as I am for today. See that, Caroline, you 
you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah. It's got 4 0 written all over it. 4 0 written all over it. That's what we like to hear. Isn't it? Jack Hilton and Ellie Hilton. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Hinton. Oh, sorry. Jack and Ellie Hinton. Thanks for watching the show. So, Alex, on the negative, why do you think it's going to be a one all draw today, mate? Well, I didn't say one all, Tom. They're your You didn't words. say draw, either. You said draw. I, said, I, I said draw. Yeah. I think we've got nine new players, still got to gel together. They've only played a couple of games. So we could still be a bit slow today, but you know that's going to be really exciting. I don't think it's that. I think it'd be as exciting as one all, but it might be nil nil. As we've as we've mentioned before, Fleetwood are a good side. They've been playing well this season. They scored in every game, so it's, there might be a lot of goals. Um, Tom, do you like the new hat? I do like the new hat. Your new hat. Nice, isn't it? Today's game. Then. <laughs> I think Alexander has said it all, mate, and Oliver. I think the um, the. The secret to the success of this season would be a settled team playing together for a number of games. And that's the problem, that's, the, that's where we get the inconsistency because we haven't got the right team lineup yet. So, 4-0 results across the country this week then. There's a lot of big score lines this week, so we're going to go through a couple of them. Real Sociedad won 4-0 at home to Rosenberg in the middle of the week. Sociedad are picking up their fifth win in all competitions so far this season, which is pretty good for Sociedad, isn't it, mate? We, we. How long? And in the Isthmian League, Billericay added to their impressive start to the season, clinching a 4-0 victory after seeing off Brightlingsea Regent midweek. No, that's so um, nice. It's Brittlingsea. 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 I don't do that. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was really. And finally, looking back to last Saturday in the Northern Premier League, get this for research, Alexander Negative, right? Witten Albion scored four. That's Whiten. So, no, it's W I T T O N. <laughs> Witten. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, check this out for research. Witten Albion scored four for the first time in two years on Saturday. Exactly two. Who did they play? Well, it was two years and four games. Who did they play, mate? They were away to Stafford. No, that's not. Stafford, is it? Stafford. Sam Paulo would absolutely love a shout out. He's um, from Montreal, isn't he? No, he's from Canada. Yeah, He's Montreal. from Medicine Hat AB in Canada. Just outside of Montreal. Just outside Montreal. <laughs> no, that's it. No, they can't yeah. say it's an edge. Oh, thanks for it. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. 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 No. I'm saying I'm famous. I'm saying I'm taking a piece of it. Alright, I'm going to make Alex on the negative. What do you think of the first half, Alex? I don't know, it's a good first half. I'm going to give you some orders. We're going to have our old start. What do you think of the first half, Ollie? It's been a good first half, actually. I think we started off a little slow and we looked a little bit ropey. Fleetwood definitely came out, so passing the ball well, moving well, and they created some opportunities. We've got to watch out for them in the second half. Um, hopefully we can continue this performance and get a couple more goals to secure it. As I said, I'm still, I'm still looking forward to the 3-1. Who's, uh, who's the key for the second half for us, then? I think that Lowe had a good first half, but he made a couple of mistakes in there. He just needs to focus himself in, control himself a little bit and make sure you know he's playing a bit more sensible football, not letting it go a bit loose. He's the boy who looks most dangerous, isn't he? Yeah, he looks like he's creating a lot of opportunities. I mean, Chaplin looks all right, but he's gone down a few times this half. A bit, a bit weak, I feel, from him. I think he could have been a bit stronger in certain yeah. situations. Stay on his feet and use his pace a bit, and not But, I mean, all in all, as a team, we seem to be playing well, we seem to be working together, we seem to want it, so hopefully, you know, we can uh, push on for a good... Good end of the final whistle. We look solid at the back as well. No, no test for McGee yet. No, not massively. McGee has got some legs on him, the boy. He has got some fins. He's got some fins, mate. He's got some serious legs. I've been eyeing him up all afternoon from here. Um, but yeah, no, he's all in all, I think uh, we obviously had an injury to our left back quite early on. Um, got a new left back on, but it hasn't made too much disturbance. I was a bit concerned that it would unsettle the back four, but it's done a good job so far. Do you want to tell everyone we're in the building? Look, we're in the building, empty. It's 
lovely here. Half time here at Fran Park, it is Pompey One. What's going on there? <laughs> it's Pompey One, Fleetwood Nil. Uh, mate, thoughts on the first half? Yeah, Tom, I think we've played really well. Looking like a settled tie. So we talked a couple of games away. That, sorry, we talked a couple of games ago. That we thought the side had to get settled. Kenny had to get his starting 11. This looks good. Looks some good players out there. Playing some good football. Flip, flip with them, got to hope with this game, mate. I think this could be 4-0. Caroline? Three kids, I'm hoping four games, uh, goals and seven half. Three. What? Oh, well, yeah, three, ideally. Yeah. There's going to be a pole in the top right-hand corner, right up there. Can you get my finger right in the top right-hand corner of the screen? So my finger's got to be in the very top right. My right, my finger, the top right hand of the screen. Screen. Right, okay. That's where the pole is. Right, you can come back now. So, do you like Dad's hat or not? Should he be wearing it next week? And if we get over 50% saying yes, then he'll wear it next week, won't you, mate? Sure, yeah. I'm looking forward to it already, Tom. Let's get the thoughts of Dan and John at half in. time. It'll be hat on, hat off. Hat on, hat off. Hat on, hat off. Simple vote. No. Caroline, hat on, hat off. I like the hat. Oh, oh, hat on, hat off. Hat on, hat off. On, on, on. We've got three on, two off. This is Caroline. She thinks the score's going to be 4-0. I do think the score's going to be 4-0. And she bakes cakes. Cakes by Caroline, 16. That's a good memory. Go follow her on Instagram, link's in the description. Dan, serious question mate, hat on, hat off? Hat off. Hat on? I like it, Dan. Four to three. Um, thoughts on the first half, mate? Uh, to be fair, I think we look pretty solid. Fleetwood played the ball quite nicely, but I think we're getting there. It's a work in progress. It's finally clicking together, slowly, but it's getting there. We look pretty hungry for the ball. Yeah, I think we well deserved goal. It was building the whole half, and I think we deserve to be one nil in front, to be honest. We had a bit of a nightmare last week, oh, the microphone wasn't turned on. He said to all his work... Sorry. Hat on, hat off. I'll click the bell, look what happened. You have got it turned on, haven't you? I hope so, because last week he mentioned the show to all his work colleagues. Hello, who would be watching? What are their names? Just random work people. Hi. Just because, that was why we were talking about the work colleagues, because the microphone wasn't on last week, and John here mentioned to all his work colleagues to watch the show, and he only got a short little 10 second clip. I know. So now he's going to listen to John, full report on the first half, but it's actually going to go in this week. John. Well, thank you for your it's not very good. Um, no, it's good, we're knocking the ball about better, we're passing better, we're playing better and we've got a goal, so yeah, it's alright, it's a better better team performance, one new up, let's kick on second half. What should they do um, if they enjoy the videos, mate? Um, click the bell. Did you click the bell last week? Oh yeah, and I loved it. That bell's amazing. You should click subscribe, everyone I work with, click subscribe like I told you during the week, do it now. Thoughts on the first half, mate? Good off. Good off. Yeah. That's positive. That's all you have to say. Is that all you got to say about the first half? Um, yeah, it's good. Say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to. I think we just need to push and push. Right, we're getting there, but then we're just not getting the extra mile just to get that shot away. I don't know. Did you watch the live video last week? No. Did you watch it the week before? Yes. What do you think of it? Finished. Pompey 4, Fleetwood 1. Caroline, what do you think of the game? Awesome game. Definitely the best one I've seen. Alexander, the negative? Yeah, I think Caroline said it all, really. Um, Pittman's goal was, was half decent. Um, low scored, a couple of easy finishes. 
Um, but I think it's important we don't get ahead of ourselves, really. It's just one game, so let's see what happens in the next few weeks, see if we can put a run together. Ollie? Inspirational, mate. Absolutely inspirational. I try, mate, I do try. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. I, as I said, the prediction at the start, 3-1, I said they were going to score, and they did. Um, unfortunately for me, Pittman scored an absolute blinder in the, towards the end of the second half. That was unfortunate came off. for you. Um, <laughs> fortunate for Pompey, but unfortunate for you, Ollie. And uh, that ruined my prediction, but all in all, yeah, really happy with the result and the game, mate. Cool. We'll see you next Saturday away at Scunthorpe, celebrating my birthday in Scunthorpe, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to your birthday in Scunthorpe, Tom. Looking that'll, forward that'll to it. First, that'll be great, won't yeah. it? Possibly the last. Possibly the last. So yeah, we will see you next Saturday. Thank you very much for watching. Keep the faith and play up Pompey. Play up Pompey. Go south. There's a team down there. Go south with a lot of flair. Go south. They go. Oh hello. Oh, he's trying to get a picture of himself. You want your selfie, don't you? Nice hat. <laughs> Loving it. Well, give us a smile. Give us a good smile. Tom, turn it back. Don't put that bit on. Put that in it. No, it's don't going put in that. It's going in. 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 It